Hi, I'm Steve Withers here at CES 2011 in Las Vegas and I'm joined by Andrew Denham from Panasonic to talk about what they've got lined up for 2011. So I guess, uh, Andrew, last year there was a lot of anticipation surrounding uh, your plasma lineup particularly, um, yep. and um, what have you got in store for 2011? Well, for, further enhancements on uh, neoplasma, and we're, we're actually naming it neoplasma for this year, so increased black, uh, black levels, increased brightness, reduced power consumption, faster response times, reductions in, uh, in crosstalk from what was already an extremely low level, and above all, an expansion of the 3D lineup into three ranges to give consumers choice and uh, step up opportunities through the lineup. And, and what those three ranges actually going to be then? So we've got the ST, GT, and VT in the, in the range. In fact, we're in front of uh, the GT series here. And a lot of energy has been put into uh, coming up with a very subtle, uh, high-class design look and feel to the panel um, and very clean look around the bezel to really set it off in a, a contemporary uh, way. Yeah, well, it certainly does look very attractive. I know some people criticise the, the look last year, but um, this, is, this yeah. is very attractive. Now, um, so this is the... ST, uh, this is GT. GT20, yes. there's the ST20. And then, and then, yes, and then at the top of the lineup, we've got the VT um, with uh, THX color uh, control. So, you know, no compromise uh, top end panel for enthusiast market. And will that have THX certification for 2D and 3D as well? I believe so, yes. And you're talking about um, cross top reduction. Um, how exactly are you addressing this? Because to be honest, Panasonic, of all the active shutter glasses, I think was the best yes, in terms absolutely. of lock. Well, it's it's step by step improvement. So really refining the precision and the response times of the panel, uh, thanks to the short stroke uh, phosphor that we're running in the device, um, and really just enhancing that uh, control precision uh, to remove as, as much as possible. I mean, it'd be unfair to say completely no crosstalk, but it's virtually imperceivable. Are you driving the panel in any, any way differently this year to the ones that you released in 2010? Uh, slightly different engine, uh, but fundamentally the same same platform. Now, I have to ask this question because there's a lot of talk about it in the UK last year, but there was an issue with 50 hertz on, on Panasonic plasmas. Has that been addressed for 2011? <laughs> Trying to improve, constant improvement, um, so a step forward, um, whether we meet the expectations of all, all of our enthusiast customers, we'll do our best, but uh, our time will tell uh, when we, we hear what the guys have got to say about the product. Now you're also releasing, am I right, an LCD 3D display, is that correct? We are, yeah, through, through our own production again, so through uh, a, new, a new facility in uh, Himeji, we're, we're making uh, uh, IPS Alpha LED uh, panels, really to expand the market uh, into smaller screen size areas, so we go down as low now as 32 inch. And will that be active shutter as well? It will be active shutter, yes. Fundamentally, we believe active shutter gives the best home 3D experience. Um, with the introduction of a new production facility, uh, you are still committed though to plasma as well as LC. Yeah, absolutely right. Plasma really plays the part in uh, the larger screen sizes and delivers uh, unsurpassed um, motion control and picture performance. Okay. Um, now, the other thing is, uh, of course, what used to be called Viera Cast is now called Viera Connect, is that correct? Absolutely, yes. Viera, Viera Cast becomes a more open platform from this year um, <coughs> called v Viera Connect. So apps tools uh, available for developers to come up with uh, uh, apps for the platform. But the, the point of difference here is it's still uh, a managed platform so that we can maintain quality and performance of the services that are provided on it. And um, what kind of services do you have planned for the UK? We'll, we'll have gaming platform uh, coming coming onto the product. So there's a number of, uh, of displays here which will be global uh, platforms. In February, we should be able to tie down uh, the lineup a little bit more precisely. Okay, great. And at the press conference on Wednesday, uh, perhaps the most excitement was generated by the announcement of your new uh, Viera tablet. So actually, could talk a little bit about that, please? Yeah, well, we're, we're still at the prototype stage, but basically the uh, concept is to take tablet as an extension of Viera television and make it an extension to the home entertainment experience rather than just uh, a PC peripheral that's uh, giving you access to the internet. So you still have full web browsing, um, e-books, etc. But the beauty of the product is it becomes the interface for the consumer to their uh, Viera TV and to their uh, <coughs> Viera Connect um, online experience. By extension, could that mean it could also be a system controller effectively? Uh, absolutely. So you can manage the experience on the TV, you can push video content from the tablet up to the main screen, and you can take content down from the main screen onto the tablet. So giving you flexibility in the home. So wherever you are, you can continue to, to watch Viera television. Uh, and is that going to be released uh, in 2011? We don't have a confirmed uh, launch timing at the moment, so you'll have to keep uh, keep posted on that one. Obviously, that will be sold separately. It won't be packaged in with any displays. It, it, it's, it's intended to be a separate solution, yes, but and part of the family, clearly. Okay, great. Well, they, Andrew, thank you very much for that. No problem, no problem at all.